dear all welcome to the class on complex instruction set computer and reduced instruction set computers let us first introduce to you the contents which we are going to cover in this particular lecture so we will start from the complex instruction set computer which is abbreviated as cisc sys then we will understand the characteristic of this sys computers and then the another category is reduced instruction set computer which is abbreviated as risc ris and then finally we will understand the risk characteristics now moving on to the next slide so it is defining the complex instruction set computer as you know that a computer is having many different types of instructions within it for performing a particular task so before the for this particular lecture i hope you all are clear what are the different instructions i am just giving you just a definition to refresh your memory that instruction is nothing but it is the it is having two part one is the op code which is stand for operation code and another is operand operand means on what particular variable or or portion you are or for data you are going to perform that op code op code is what to do and and operand seen on what data you have to perform that op code that is the meaning of the instruction and you know that there are different kind of instructions already we have covered they are the arithmetic instruction they are the logical instructions they are the a uh, movement instruction whether it is a movement from the memory to to cpu cpu to memory io to memory memory to io means there are different kind of instructions and also apart from that control instructions are there so in nutshell we can say that computer performs many many different kind and different categories of instructions within it to achieve the desired result so complex instruction set computer or cisc it basically does have large number of instruction and in fact the different kind of instructions within it and that is why the name is the complex instruction being there large number of instruction the reason for being there is that in catch supports the multiple and different and heterogeneous kind of applications in the real world that is the meaning of the large number of instructions they are there inside the complex instruction set computer so now moving for this particular slide is showing you the different characteristic of a sys computer the major characteristic of a complex instruction set computer they are like that they are large in the number of instruction as i'm telling you that for accommodating the different and heterogeneous kind of applications and sophisticated kind of application so they do have the different and large number of instruction and typically they range from 100 to 250 instructions and in modern computer or on a large computer it may be beyond than that second is the some instruction that perform specialized task as i am telling you because they are the complex computer complex instruction set computer so some instructions they perform the specialized task means which are the dedicated task for a particular applications large variety of addressing modes they also support because they can support the many number of instruction so addressing mode you know it may be direct addressing it may be indirect addressing it may be immediate addressing or it may be the indexed addressing so it does supports and or it is capable of supporting the many different kind of the addressing mode because it does have the even hundreds of instructions inside it and in the fourth point it can also support the variable length instruction format as we discussed in the previous lectures that the computer instruction format they are they they are from uh, different kind and with the help of this sys characteristic computer they not only can support the fixed length instruction format but they are capable of supporting the variable length variable length means the requirement as per the requirement they can take or they can change the format length that is the meaning of the format variable length instruction format and finally instructions that manipulate operands in memory 
तो दे आर ऑल्सो कैपेबल मैनिपुलेटिंग द ऑपरेंट्स इन मेमोरी तो फ्रेंड दीज आर द डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक आई एम नॉट सेइंग कि दैट इज द कंप्लीट लिस्ट बट यस दिस इज दिस इज दीज आर द इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एट फॉर एज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ ए सिस और कॉम्प्लेक्स इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट कंप्यूटर्स आर कंसर्न नाउ वी मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इट इज द रिड्यूस्ड इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट कंप्यूटर नाउ uh apart from now on the other side there are computers whose instruction set is not so complex not so lengthy but it is a reduced instruction set by cutting the number of instructions inside the computer instructions of a computer so these are called reduced instruction sets computer or the risc this architecture basically involves an attempt to reduce the execution time by simplifying the instruction set as the definition is clearly stating the objective of the risc computer is to make the efficiency or or is to reduce the execution time of the instruction by simply cutting the or by simply reducing the number of instruction set inside the computer so in a nutshell i can say that risc computer they does have the lesser number of the instruction but the instruction time or the time taken by the risc computer is much much faster as compared to the sys computer now moving on to the next slide which is showing the characteristic for these reduced instruction set computer or risc computer so the major characteristic of a risc architecture they are here on this slide first one is the relatively few instruction as the definition is clearly saying they are the lesser number there are the lesser number of instruction as compared to the you can say sys computer relatively few addressing mode here it only support the very limited addressing modes it is not like that the sys computer which support the uh, a range of the addressing mode like the direct indirect immediate or or the index addressing mode because in risc computer there are limited number of the instruction so the number of addressing mode it supports it is also relatively lesser number as compared to the sysc computers third one is the memory access limited to load at store instruction so memory access is very limited to load and store instructions and all operands next all operations done within the registers of the cpu means uh, in the risc computer most of the operation means the whatever operation whether it is a arithmetic logic or, or or some other shift operation they are done within the registers so, so in other word i can say that in the risc computer so very limited instructions or very limited uh, limited interaction is is there as far as the instruction execution concerned from from register to memory in the case of risc computer as the point number 3 is clearly emphasizing that the memory access is limited it is limited because the there is a reduced instruction set so finally we can say that all the operation done within the registers of the cpu just to make the things clear simple and fast now next point is that they do only support the fixed length fixed length instruction format which are easily decoded in the previous slide when i was discussing with you the sysc characteristic so i told you that sys computer they do support the fixed length as well as the variable length instruction format as per the requirement but dear friends here you have to remember that we are trying to understand the risc computer which are relatively few instruction there are few addressing mode so similarly they cannot support the variable length instruction format on the other hand they are only capable of supporting the fixed length and apart from that which are easily decoded which can be easily decoded so this is one another characteristic of the risc computer and now moving on to the next point in general in the risc computers there are instruction execution it is in one cycle single cycle uh, as compared to the your sys computer where your instruction cycle it may be single cycle or it may involve two 
or many a times it will involve more than two cycle instruction execution depending upon the requirement or the complexity of the instruction but it is clearly mentioned here and it has to be remembered that as far as the risk computers are concerned so they can only support the single cycle instruction uh, execution and finally hardwired the control unit of these risk computers is the hardwired implemented rather than micro program implemented the reason is that because they work faster and their efficiency is is better as compared to sys in terms of time so the control unit is also designed on that pattern because you know by the definition that hardware control unit is much faster as compared to micro program control unit because the reason is very clear hardware control unit is implemented through the digital components and anything which is implemented in the hardware is always going to be faster and efficient as compared to the micro program which is implemented through the software so now dear friend this is the list which is showing the risk characteristic and then this is the reference list which i used to prepare the contents of this particular lecture and finally thank you so much